mm, I was on the purple. I was on the purple, and then Felix saw the crack and, like, dove over to it. Like, ah, I'm falling. No, you're not, you sick fool. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we accomplished the ancient trial inside a shaman village, earning ourselves the Hover Jade, which returns us here back to the Jupiter Lighthouse, where we're going to use it to hopefully defeat the lighthouse. I think. I don't know. It's going to grant us access to this other side of the room, so let's, you know, put our hands, feet, and foreheads together in celebration because we're making progress. Now, whether or not we have all that we need to continue to progress into this is yet to be determined, but clearly Cyclone, as well as any and all of the other Jupiter synergies, are going to be probably of chief importance. We are back in the lighthouse proper on the other side of this door. I wonder... I wonder, does placing this pillar, this column, onto the button unlock the door that we should have passed through, or the door that's above us to the north? Both! Both! Look at that! A two-for-one special! Don't you just love to see it? Okay, we're in here proper, and my goodness gracious, it feels like we're coming home. You know, we spent a lot of time in these sort of places in Golden Sun 1, and we haven't spent gosh darn any time in them here. So let's go. We know what we need to do, right? We need to light it. We need to kill these things. There's one of these devil scorpion and foul mummies. How disturbing. Let's kill them all in one turn. Let's say we, we've grown quite strong. Are we capable of that? Fears? Can you eliminate any of these fools for us, please? And thank you. One and two. Perfect. All but the middle fella. Which is problematic considering Piers' attack had the highest amount of damage output on the middle. It just means that Sheba was weak. Okay, we can't go this way. Interesting. It's just but a teaser. We need to go there and push this thing down, and that would, I guess, activate this floor paneling into a, a hover sort of situation. But apparently, that's something we're going to have to wait to accomplish, so we'll have to go from left to right. I should have known left for LP always seems to work out relatively well for me. And you there, you gotta get over, don't you? You just look like you belong there. I don't know what that means. That didn't do anything for us, but presumably it will later. Or maybe can we jump? It seems like they're lower. They are lower. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We can still progress this direction. And we have got a horizontal burrito puzzle. Great. I do enjoy these ones. I do tend to do particularly well at them usually. It looks like we've got not a whole lot of options. We'll just get get moving on these babies. This goes there, then the one that it just passed by is going to have to return to the left, and it's going to grant us access to pushing this guy out of the way before we push the one that we had pushed prior all the way to the right, therefore granting us access uh, to, to a jump, perhaps, but also access to this thing down here. Let's jump first. Is this a mimic? It's kind of out here on its lonesome. It's not a mimic, is it? It's a reward. It's an Aaron, yes? Aaron, yes, tunic. That's like the opposite of what uh, Mikasa was saying. Uh, attack up and defense up. And it also raises your evade, apparently. Wow, increases criticals? That sounds like a good piece of friggin' clothing. It's good for anyone. Golly gee Williker, I tempted to give it to Sheba because her attack is the weakest. And frankly, her defense is too. So, yeah. Trade it for what the, the Moody robe? Is that what she's wearing? It looks like that is the K. Well, she's wearing the silk shirt. Is it the silk shirt or the rope? What? Which is it? Trade it for the card and then equip it. I'm curious. Which did she de-equip? Uh, she got rid of the Mooney robe and she's still wearing the shirt. Okay, cool. No one else wants this, right? Oh, look at that. Jenna can stand to gain a single point out of that. <laughs> sure, why not? Equip it. Perfect. We're better off. Two out of the four. I'll take it. And now we have nothing else to do here, I suppose? I mean, there's a whole other section of the room to the right, but it doesn't seem like it's something we can access from this particular location. Uh... More whirlwind, or excuse me, more... Cyclone. In fact, let us... Hotkey Cyclone. Let's, let's do that. Hot, cyclone is to R, and I really... I'm going to keep move. I'm going to keep move at L. Move has been L for the entirety of the Let's Play. 
And frankly, even in the places like this where they're themed to a particular synergy or particular school of discipline, aka Jupiter for this specific place, uh, we still gotta move, use move. I mean, look at this right here. Get out of here, scorpions. You move, and I will step on your carcasses, all right? You devil scorpions, so God knows that you're not holy, but we're making holes in your body. 568 experience points, and now, look at this, we can use, well, we can use move in the wrong friggin' direction, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're using move, and then, what was that? Is someone poisoned? What was that noise? Did you hear that? That made like a, like a whip, a crack of a whip or something. That was relatively strange. We could go up again right there, but I'm wondering if we should just do the swinging, if we should just Tarzan ourselves over that chain. I suppose we should, since it's the first thing that we came across, and if we, you know, start going off every other direction willy-nilly, we might get, uh, forgetful. <laughs> Goodness knows that I am not immune to that. However, unfortunately, Cyclone does not do the same thing as Whirlwind, even though, you know, judging by their picture here, they should. Whirlwind will blow that over to us, and then we can... Oh! Okay, cool. We did it, we did it, we did it. Um, so we can't do it now. Look at this guy, Ghost... Ghost Army? Is that what that says, Ghost Army? But you're one dude. You're no army. Very rude of yourself to announce like this. It's fine. We'll just eliminate you as punishment for your transgressions. Do him in, Jenna. Very well done. And then Piers will wrap things up with the whip. No! Piers does not wrap things up with the wyvern. As a result, the wyvern nearly friggin' kills us. Jiminy Christmas, this dude was eating Taco Bell. He had the spiciest breath we've seen in a fortnight. Almost a thousand points of experience as a result of the fight, however, so that's relatively pleasant. But it would seem that going this direction at all was, well, not but a waste of time. So, at least we know that we have that. We just need to work on getting the other chain. Let's, let's cyclone here. And then we'll come back down because it does seem like there there is more walkway to traverse in the bottom left of the room. And this is, the door is locked. Yeah, no, nothing we can do here. Okay, so we're looking for a key of some sort, whether it's physical or synergy or something in between. Maybe it's a liquid key. Maybe it's just 12 ounces of Mountain Dew. Splash it on the wall and then leave because your parents are going to be pissed because that crap is sticky. I don't know. Maybe it's not that either, but it could be. Anything's possible. This... D oh. Wyverns of Agility dropped by 75. Jenna levels up to 32. No new synergy, but a host of statistical boosts that just make things easier in general. Um, speaking of boosts, why don't we boost up everyone's HP? Just because. Why not? And then Felix is the only one who's suffering. 70? We need 100. 150, whatever, that's fine. Overdo it. Overkill is fine. Overhill? Overheal? Whatever the case may be, it's better to be too healthy than not enough. Uh, reveal, I'm guessing. Again, another Jupiter synergy. Indeed, you can't hide from me. I know your nasty little tricks, you tower. Ah, uh, let's go. In the same way that we did last time, maybe now... We'll be able to kill all these folks in one turn. Felix defeats his friggin' scorpion without the help of Piers' glacier. Piers' glacier, however, uh, does nothing. I thought it was gonna wrap up at least one of those dudes. Lo and behold, not the case. Thankfully, however, can't have too terribly much banging on behind those toilet paper sheets on their bodies. And we'll eliminate them in short order here now. A thousand experience points again. Wow. I don't know, it's gonna take me a little bit of use to that. Uh, we can't jump over there, okay. What are we doing here, then? I guess we're leaving. I guess we're going up. <laughs> Ooh, into this thing, huh? We can go left for L... No, we can go right for RP. G, we're playing an RPG. Okay, cool. We can go over here. Very, very, very good. Now, what if we cast Reveal? Is there something that I'm missing, perhaps? Not in the immediate vicinity, so let's just carry on to the right, which seems to be the only place we can... Well, 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 we could slide down. But what if we go down here first? Because if we slide down, we will lose access to this. Um. This is kind of scary looking. What is this? What happens if I if I pull that onto here? I feel like these are going to fall. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull it all the way over? But why? But why would I do such a thing? I don't- what, what's my motivation? What is my incentive? I guess I'm just that simple. I see that I can move something and I move it! <laughs> Craft stores hate him! Alright, well, I guess let's go back in here and then fall down because that seems to be the only thing that we can do otherwise. Whee! Okay, now we're here. Now what? We can move this guy, put it into place so that we could hop over on the left side, I suppose. But then this still begs the question of how we're going to get back up there, which I suppose that's a problem for future LP. This guy clearly needs to go right there. What about this one, huh? Uh, do we want to jump? I guess that's the only thing we can do. I say, do we want to jump over to the treasure chest? If we push this all the way up. We will be able to jump to the treasure chest. Okay. We did it. And we're back up. Oh, okay. We're over here now. I see. Very clever. Very clever indeed. We just gotta figure out our way through this maze, and lo and behold, we did. Is this the key that we're searching for? Uh, the meditation rod. Interesting. You know, I've got one of these, and it's called a barbell. But it doesn't unleash Nirvana. Uh, so what? Can't equip. It's good for Sheba and Jenna. Hey, well, let's give it to Sheba then, no doubt. Uh, trade for the Thanatos Mace, equip that item, bringing her attack up to 280. Which is not too far off from everyone else. Very good. Now... What... do? Uh, did we... did we come from the left? I'm already turned around. Did we come from this direction? I don't think we did. No, we did not. So we can do this, but there was also a direction we could choose to view that was south. Let's pop on through this. Ah, there be a button. What does the button do? Oh, the button drops the thing. I see, I see, I see. So perhaps that's why we're meant to do this. Push this old fellow right there and then drop him down. Whee! Oh, God! What, was that good? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, it made kind of an ugly noise when it plummeted down there. So hopefully everyone's okay. Then again, hopefully no one's even investigating this giant ruin anyways. Who would be that sick and deluded? Only us, because we're heroes. Uh, there's the key we need. Too bad we can't slither on up this smooth little pathway. We only can slither on down it. Okay, well, that's something. Do we need to move this? This looks movable. It is indeed. When we put this right here, I guess we can do something? Can we cast hover on this? Ordinarily, we've only been able to use hover, or we've only tried to use hover when it's been purple. Yeah, that didn't do jack diddle dungus. Um, okay, well, we'll revisit this, I'm sure. And we'll visit these guys right now. We haven't had a whole lot of random encounters. Uh, really, it seems like they are happening in decreasing frequency. I don't know if that's just, uh, independent to the locations that we find ourselves, or if it's related to our H, or our, our levels or something. But either which way, I don't know if I love it or hate it. <laughs> I like it, I guess, for the convenience of getting to, uh, you know, to run around and progress and stuff like that. But it's also good to gain some levels. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we gotta keep getting stronger. Because undoubtedly, the enemies will keep getting stronger too, and if we don't sacrifice enough of them to the mouths of our blades, well, Jiminy Christmas, we're gonna be sacrificed instead! Not like that, we're at the top. We're at the top, we're at the top of the- how are we at the top already? What? And this is like a, an elevator thing. I remember those from Golden Sun. We're at the top, though. Why are we at the top? We're here at the top of the tower, and, and we can do nothing. Okay, so we're leaving the top of the tower. <laughs> oh, buddy, nothing makes sense. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're making progress, I suppose. Uh, to the left, to the left. Everything in your, your box to the left or something. We need a gem of some sort. I, we can slide down here. What is this? Uh... Holder of the star, show me the power of Animus. Okay, I will show you the power. What is the power? Is... Wait, what is the power of Animus? Is it... What? Is it hover? It is hover, okay. I was like, eh, I should remember things, but I forget things. 
all of my Skittles fly out of my back pocket. The gods are very pleased with me. Goodness knows that they are diabetic and they need a little good blood sugar, which we will gladly supply them. The blocks now hover. Cool. Let's go to the right. What say we? And I, I suppose we could go back to the top and things would be working now, right? We made an interesting little wrap around here, but we are back at the top. And no, things are not working at the top. Uh, okay. Go back down then. Perhaps there's, I mean, undoubtedly there's more for us to do throughout this. We've merely just activated the dungeon, so to speak. And there's, oh, look at that. Now these things are turned on. Hi, buddy. I can not go that way because I have to push the other one. But what if we used hover like down here, huh? What if we did that? Would we, would we then be able to hover and go like to the left? Indeed we would, indeed we would. What's up, Key? You're for me. Beautiful. Oh, uh, okay, so I, I get it now. We are meant to backtrack, right? The puzzles are then presenting themselves now in an opposite direction. I see, I see, game. You try to trick me with your sticky icky and I say no. I've done a puzzle or two in my 31 years. Jiminy Christmas. Eliminate the maze tail, very good. 426 experience points. Hopefully we all get a level up before we face whatever the demon is that's laying in wait at the back end of this dungeon. In fact, let's check that out. Uh, Felix, no, not gonna happen. Jetta, no, not gonna happen. Sheba, maybe. And Piers, maybe. Just like three more battles for Sheba. And then one more for, er, like six more for Piers. We hop over to the other side. This would be a great opportunity for me to recall where else I've seen like those hover things. And frankly, it'd be a great time for me to recall where I saw the friggin' chest, but or the, the locked door thing. But alas, I don't. Do we have the opportunity to reveal something here? We do indeed. Golly gee Williker, isn't it scrumptious? We got another thing here. Psy crystal. You know, that's not necessarily cool. It's fine, but look, there's another locked door down there that we do not have the key to. We have the red key, and I had thought that that was the only locked door. Lo and behold, that was wrong. But it's fine, because I think that we are closing in on the red door, and presumably accessing the red door will grant us access <laughs> to the blue key. And then we'll have to worry about finding our way to that door. Here's the door. Perfect. The red one, that is. Uh, no. Felix, I need you to go after left, Jenna right, Sheba middle, and Piers freeze them all. All right. You know, I'd, I'd like to say something. I think Piers is a cool dude, huh? His attacks are pretty cool. Ah, the way he kills enemies is is cool. Too much? Maybe. Either which way, ah, oh, we need to go over there. We need to be there, man. Is this where we access it? Is there a... No? Oh, God, I'm getting lost. Mm. Mm. Okay, here it is. This, like, I don't... <laughs> I know I've been there. I know I've been there, but where, 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 where to go for it? It's here. Very good. And now the key grants us access. Yes, who has the key but, of course, Piers with the only small semblance. Do you hear that noise again? That's just the noise of doors. Doors sound like the cracks of whips opening. That would terrify me. All right, Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> I wake up, it's time for coffee. I'll open my bedroom door. <laughs> Excuse me. Good morning. We're picking up a lot of antidotes through all these dudes. Uh... It gives me pause. It makes me feel like we're gonna get poisoned. Thankfully, we haven't yet. Uh, no, no, no. Don't you blow me. Your big gross face in the wall. Don't get blown by faces in the walls, alright? You're gonna pick up a disease, or worse, you're gonna fall off the friggin' tower. That sounds, uh, a little bit less than ideal. Ah, a mimic, yes? I might have known. Very good. Well, you just reek of free experience points, so... We'll be sure to give you a quick and timely death. High impact so we can boost all of our attacks. Please, Shiva. And then maybe we can two-turn this guy. Mimics do tend to have a relatively large amount of HP, so one-turning is probably out of the question here. But 305 from Felix's first attack, pretty solid. However, the Mimic itself is pretty strong, dealing over 100 points of damage to the entire party. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just do one more attack. I had half a mind to cast Healing Aura with Jenna, but I think that we might be able to eliminate this dude with four attacks here. Only 100 points of damage from Sheba. That sucks. That wasn't good. Golly, you Wilker. I thought that was electrocution, man. She like, 
holding the friggin' taser to this dude. Sheba leveled up to 32. Maybe now she'll be slightly stronger. Very good. We also got 700 coins and a side crystal. And now it's time for healing aura. Perfect. All taken care of. Let us go up the stairs. Maybe up here is where we'll find the blue key and or access to that blue door. Ooh, maybe we'll find some... Oh, oh. <laughs> I could smell it. You see, I have a nose for blue things, all right? Goodness gracious. Wait. Wait, but what? How does one access it? Because you can't, you can't cast a move on these things from that direction. I have to, like, fall down there. I'm not going to labor around with this too terribly much. Yeah, I got to fall down there. I see what's happening here. Well, I'm going to fall early, so this was the wrong call to make. Great. See you later. We're going down. In an earlier round, Sugar, we're going down, not singing, but hissing and spitting like some sort of deranged cat because we're pissed. All right. Uh, this was also incorrect. Okay, so the two left paths... Uh, going against the very traditional method of left for LP. Not good in this time. It would seem it's not a flawless technique. We must go to the right. And then... Hmm. And then what? We cannot... We cannot do. Well, I'm going to sacrifice another fall down there just to check this chest out. Oh, boy. $300. Great. We can go buy another Nintendo Switch. But we don't need it. Because the next console's coming! We all saw that, didn't we? Anyways, at least now we know the direction we need to go. And what's more, we probably know that we need to fall twice in order to access that spot. Yep, we're going up. We sure as heck are going up. Mm -hmm. Continuing to go up. Here we go. I need... Man, what the crap is that? I need to get in there. <laughs> I need to get in there, Satan! Nirvana, hey, look at this. Here's the... Eh, only 156. The first critical from Sheba's new weapon. Yeah, we're gonna have to fall again. Okay, we're gonna fall one to the right. Oh, this is just evil. Oh, this is just rude. What are you doing here, game? What is the meaning of this? Now you're gonna make me count things. All right, we gotta go, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven tiles down, either there or seven tiles down and one to the right. I'm gonna go over here. And they're not gonna give us the opportunity to hover if we don't need it. So I'm gonna take that. We can go straight down here. Oh God. Is this, is this it right here? This one little lonesome? Seems like it might be. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, it sure is. Perfect. Now we can get the key. And then we'll be able to come out. But the question... Do we want to do more stuff up there? Was there more for us? Probably. Because we still don't know how to get to that blue door. We saw it back a few minutes ago. But as for, like, getting to it, I didn't get... I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Maybe you were just, you know, screaming at your monitor or your phone or your TV or whatever you're watching on. And you're like, ah, LP, <laughs> I'll go back. But I gotta investigate this part first, all right? Because I definitely saw more crap up here. And there's even, like... Yeah, look at this thing right here. Let's, let's hover right here and see where this takes us. We're probably gonna have to do this a time or two. But as for now... Um... Hey, what is this? This is a button. What did that do? I don't know what that did. Oh, it opened the door to the bottom right. You see that now? Ah, okay. So this was a good... Very much a good. If we would have done anything else, we wouldn't have done it as we should. We did all the good as much as we could. Let's hover from here and get down to that door. And then that's gonna take us to the blue one, maybe. Look at this. You're gonna trip me with the cracks in the floor? Golly gee, friggin' well, like I had to call the city. Ah! Another army! An entire army! Right here, right now. Confined, condensed into one singular entity. Isn't it sick? Very good. At least it was quick. Only one direction to... Well, 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 well. Hold on. This seems suspicious. Reveal? Anything? No. Okay, whatever. One direction to go. And... Hmm. Hello there, friend. Looks like we need to supply you with some energy, hmm? Some purple power? It would seem you crave the grape juice? Let the grape juice flow through you. I, too, like to shoot arrows into the backsides of my friends when I'm just tripping on grape juice. 
You sick fool. Okay, so we lifted one half. I guess that's something we need to do. Uh, I did news to me. <laughs> we need to figure out how to get over to that other... Ah, okay, well, let's fall. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess probably the only thing we could have done in that specific instance because the door was locked again. But now... Now we gotta figure out how to get over there. Uh, uh, nothing seemed to present itself. Let's just fall. Nothing seemed to present itself as far as an access point over there. Well, uh, well, 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 we did drop that one block, didn't we? I guess we can go down. Mm, it, all the way down, perhaps, and, and see what that actually does for us? Because it has to mean something, right? We, we hit that button when the block was on the little flippers, and it made a noise. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's gonna make noise when you're dropping 500-pound bricks of friggin' concrete down 20 stories, but whatever. It's irrelevant. It made a noise that signifies that something happened. So we should go see exactly what happened. Maybe there's a crater. Maybe we left Creighton down there and he broke his friggin' leg. Who knows? Anything's possible. What happens if you blow me? Very good. Don't you just love fast travel? Okay. Now we need to worry about getting... Back? I'm already kind of lost, to be honest with you. Can we hop across this? I don't think we can. Because that takes us back to the other uh, part of things. Wow, we didn't kill the one wyvern? Even with Felix's critical? How sick? How heinous? I can't believe it. We'll have Sheba and Jenna tag team the one on the right. Sheba's enough to kill that, and then Felix is enough to kill the one on the left. Perfect. Yeah, we cannot, but we can cast Cyclone in an effort to return from whence we came in this particular area. Yeah, oh, you know what I'm thinking. Maybe it would make some sense to cast freaking return. Ah. Huh. What happens if we go this way again? I mean, nothing, right? But maybe this is something I didn't explore enough. It's entirely possible. Eh, no. We, we, we can cast it and we can just, like, get thrown off the edge there, because we need to bring that down. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hey, it was worth a look. All right, you never know when you're going to forget something. If you're me, it's going to happen all the friggin' time. <laughs> but, either which way... Ah! Gosh darn it, I'm trying to dialogue here, people. You coming up here waving your stinger in my face, waving your mace tail all over the place. It's sick, it's rude, it's disgusting. What would your mother think? Waving it about in public like that. Come on, man. Get out of here. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. See? Anyways, uh, we can't do that, but we can cyclone back down this direction. We're up? Wait, is it up? Is it down? No, it's down. A-U-K. There's an up over on the other side. There's also a hover over there. I see. That's something we have not yet accessed. So, there we go. That's something that we need to figure out, is where can we hover that we have not yet hovered prior. Because we came through all of this and activated the tower, a.k.a. activated its its hovery... hovery goodness, and we haven't jumped over this. Oh, you freaking block! What? I moved you! I put you in the place! You're like those demented stones in California that slither on in the desert when no one's looking. How could you? All right, goodness me. Erosion can't happen that quickly. There's no wind in here, despite it being the Jupiter friggin' lighthouse. Ugh, I'm offended. But I'm also excited because we've made our way to this half, this second half, the right half, as it were, where we can do this. Oh, yeah, that's very nice. And that's going to enable us to turn this guy on. And we went through that door first when we first came in here, but I've already forgotten what is in it. Possibly nothing, but let's give it a look-see. Yes, assuredly nothing. Very good. But here, we may hover. Yes. Yes, indeed. And then, from the hover, we may cast Cyclone! Ooh! And now we're cooking with friggin' grease. All right, we're cooking with, with bacon soda and grease and bananas. We're making something disgusting, frankly. I don't know what dish requires those three ingredients, but we're, we're cooking. All right, let them cook. Even if it smells horrible, just let them do it. All right, he'll get pissed. And it's fine, because ultimately, we're gonna maybe even wrap this up this episode. I know we're, we're kind of closing in on, on the time here, but I'm feeling optimistic. Certainly less optimistic 
with Sheba nearly friggin' dead and missing her attack. Thank giblets that Felix connected. Ugh. All right. Hey, level up. Don't you just love to see it? But I also, well, let's get you on the floor first. That way we can traverse back and forth as necessary. And now, Sheba, get healed. Anyone else need it? Uh, I guess here, eh, three of the four people could use it. And now, Felix, finish her up. Perfect. We're all, we're all set then. Uh, wait a minute. Did we come, we came from the door to the left. We have not yet done this direction. What are you? That looks interesting to me. I guess it's nothing, just decoration. Whatever. Oh, hi. This has to go in there? Really? Doesn't seem right to me. Okay, I guess it does. <laughs> it's a lightning rod. Watch out. Thomas Edison's coming for you, buddy. Good deal. That was convenient. I still don't know where we dropped that friggin' block, but whatever. I guess we're not meant to know. Do we go up this way? Do we do anything here? Oh. Perhaps not. We need to get up there and some other way? Well, isn't that ever so slightly problematic? Because I feel like I've exhausted all, all directions of access. Hmm. Where did we miss something? I mean, the only other thing I can think of is way, way back at the beginning, which we were nearly there to, just so that we could go out front and look for that block. Which, of course, God knows where that would even be, if it would even be anywhere. And this, to me, is still very interesting. I'm going to cast Reveal here just for the heck of it. Yeah, nothing at all. Okay, 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 I see. And this does give us access back over there? We've turned on one half of this thing. Could we have already accessed that? Like, when we ascended all the way up to the top of the tower, were we able to access that part of, I don't know, the, the, the plaza, for lack of a better word, up there, through that access point? I don't know. I don't know. But since we're so gosh darn close to the entrance, I would only guess... It, well, so we were just down there, though. There's nothing there for us. Gosh, giblets, mayonnaise, and toes. Oh, where are we going? Nobody knows! Still don't see the thing. More mace tails. All right. I know I said earlier that we weren't getting a lot of random encounters. Now I feel like we're getting just too many. It's like they heard me. Maybe they were late to work today. They had a company party. All the demons did. You know, they really shelled out for all the all the fixings, right? Like human fingers. Maybe a salad of teeth or whatever these guys eat. And now they're, they're, they're feeling particularly energized and ready to, uh, to come assault me in droves. Joke's on them. However, I'll just kill them. Okay, so it's not that direction. We went up there. Or went over there, rather. These dudes are going to take two turns. So, the Wyverns and the Armies are, I guess, the two stronger enemies in this part of the game, or at least this particular area, the Jupiter Lighthouse. So that's good to know, just because they're not even that strong, right? If you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the strongest enemies in a particular location, and not that bad, well, Jiminy Christmas, that just bodes well for all of your future endeavors, does it not? And right, I suppose. You're gonna have to bear with me here. I know it's <laughs> relatively labyrinthian. Yes, okay, so that is it there. Huh. Is there no There's not another block, so I God knows what happens there. We want to get down to that face somehow. All right, I'm gonna have to cast Retreat. Go back to the entrance. This is probably just the quickest way to get down there. And then we'll be able to see... Either see or not see the block, I suppose. Which may, in fact, be here, huh? Is it anywhere? <laughs> Again, we still have this crap. These ladders. And for what? Nobody knows. Anything? Hmm. No changes here, it would seem. No, no changes whatsoever. Okay. I don't know what I was hoping I would see, right? The block came down and cracked a hole in the ground, aka opening up a new access point or something. Apparently not. But I suppose it's not all bad because coming back here does give us the opportunity to just come back at it from a refreshed perspective. Look, here we are. This is good. This is good, you know? I wonder. 
I do wonder. Now, there's a hover right here, right? This will propel us up into the air. But there's also one to the left. Could I, uh, you know, I'm not ordinarily the person to just hover on in the ominous beams of light. But maybe that's what we're meant to do here? Oh, we're doing a thing! We're doing a thing. That took us all the way up here. And this thing! What is this thing doing on the ground, huh? What kind of crap is that? Where are we? <laughs> this is someplace new! Ah, yes, I see, I see. Ooh, it's a treasure. Okay. Maybe that was what we were meant to do. And I now have a new theory. Maybe when we dropped one of those big blocks down, it, like, cracked open the seal that was on top of this beam or something. Therefore, enabling us to ride it up. It's gotta be something like that. We got a potion! Delicious! Guzzle it with much fervor. Now, I'm guessing if we head to the right here, this is going to take us by that face. No, no, not quite, but we are in areas relatively unknown for the time being. Ah, blue. We have the key for you, you sick nugget. <laughs> so we got that, but we also have this. Where does this cyclone take us? Does this take us up to the face? The face place? There's plenty of space over there. Uh, no. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, that was just... Oh, why did you let me do this, you statue? You. No. Don't look at me, you hole. I'm going this way. You placed me in a terrible spot, and I had to backtrack. Now we're here, and that's hot. So, let's cast... Hover right here. This face is not trying to... Oh, oh, never. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. The face was not trying to blow me, but now it is. And it has blown us in a direction most great. Truly, I am elate. Id because it was quicker than walking over this direction. And undoubtedly, we'll just use Lash to get back, because I did see the coiled-up rope that we passed over. Uh, presumably, this is only centered around turning on the, uh, the Great Juice Arrow up top, and then that'll be the end of the lighthouse, right? At least I'm guessing. I'm not certain if there's going to be a fight or anything. Ordinarily, uh, in Golden Sun 1, we fought with, like, Satoros and Minardi and stuff, because they were trying... They were trying to prevent. Or no, they were trying to light the lighthouses, and we, as Isaac and company, were trying to prevent it. We go straight or to the right. What is this? Oh. Oh, hello there, Jenny. Well, look at you then. Looking all cute and such. We're going to have to hover on over in order to get blocks for this. Now, what is this thing? This is kind of curious. I don't know what that is. That looks like a button that was already pushed down, or like one of those tall spike things. Very strange. Could we cast Hover from this and fly over to that area to the left? <laughs> Barely not. Nope, the game says, uh-uh, what are you thinking, dude? Get out of here. Fine, we'll just move this guy all the way over into his spot. And 45 years later, we've done it, my god! Okay, it looks like we need, obviously, that one to go right here, and then another one to land in this spot, which I'm not certain where we'll get that. Maybe we'll get it from up above, because there is a stairway right here. Ah, God, what's up, blue dragon, huh? I farmed you for your hides in RuneScape. Jiminy Christmas, it would seem that you're just as strong as the Wyvern, huh? Well, stronger. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we gotta go here, people. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, he too no, he's gonna kill someone. We don't have any more friggin' juice. Any more life juice. Thank goodness. Okay, not even that much experience points, given how stressful that was. Holy chicken salad. Our, mm? What? What now? We need to... We need to... We need to be over there already. How are we gonna be over there already? Is there a hidden door? I wonder. It hasn't been the case before, but... No, it's still not the case. What the crap, man? What am I supposed to do here, then? It's like I need to go up there. But I feel like... How could I do that? And then that button. That button is curious to me. Oh, and this thing's back up? Got these friggin' sentient blocks. Goodness me. Alright, well, let's hover back up there and... There must be something we can do with this, right? Like, what? Let's pound it, I suppose? It looks like it's already been pounded. 
Oh, well, we're pounding out of order. We pounded over top of it. <laughs> Let us pound the steak, please, and thank you. Didn't... Didn't do anything. Then again, I don't know what I expected anyways. Hmm. Hmm, can... Cyclone it? Bop it. Hmm, slap it. Doodle, do. Great, okay. Um, oh god. I see where I went wrong. So, in all my infinite wisdom, I keyed in on the bottom left opening as the only potential place this block could go. Right? I saw that and I was like, there's no way that anything goes anywhere else. It's impossible, right? Like, come on. We gotta have all the blocks and all the places so that we can get the Jenny. No! We need this one to go right here so that we can access the other hover pad right here and allow us to go push the other block down and then therefore move deeper into the dungeon. Great. <laughs> oh, man. Assuredly, I wasn't the only one fooled by that, right? Right? Pad my voice? <laughs> Oh, uh, and no doubt we will be unable. Oh, and look at that, huh? So what is that? Do we push that down and the blocks come out, is my guess. But we don't want to do that just yet, because... How could we ever get this guy? Oh, God, that was actually really close. Assuredly, it's impossible, right? Assuredly, the devs would, would program in a way that that's not actually doable. But I was... Mm, okay, that felt even shorter. I'm not even going to try it. I'm going to go this way. Presumably, there'll be a block we can push down. That will then, uh, hmm, what? What are we having? <laughs> Presumably, we'll be put in a place where I have no idea what's going on. So uh, I guess like, let's pound this, and maybe that'll pound some sense into me. I pooped that out, which is going to actually be our stepping stone. It would seem it's intended to be, in order to move over to the right. And then we're gonna go down there and have to move those blocks around for us to jump on. This is just, you know, spitballing here, just thinking out loud. It looks like that's the case, at least. But there could be other stuff down here. Uh, there's a chest over to the right, which we can access, but it seems that we need to get to the left. And we can only put them on the, the, the circles, as for hovering. So, if we push this dude... I mean, no matter what, has to go here, right? But also has to go there, and I'm going to choose to ignore the chest. Uh, it's not to say that the chests have always been useless. Frankly, in this dungeon alone, we've gotten two good weapons and armor for Sheba specifically, but we've also gotten a potion and a Psy Crystal, so it's dead even as far as whether or not it's worth exploring at all. And then once we have these guys here, well, hmm, I'm, I'm tempted, dude. I can't do it. I can't. What kind of adventure would I be if I ignored the pleas of the chest? You know what I'm saying? Gosh darn it, every day is chess day when you're an adventurer. So let's just, let's get it. We gotta do it. Come on. It's right here. It's easy. I think. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll be problematic. But no doubt we have to move a crap ton of things all over the place in order to make it accessible. And then we'll have to reorganize them so that we can access the actual destination that we need. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And tell me, was that correct? It looks correct to start. Yes, indeed. All right, here we go. What do we got? Water of life. Hey, you know, that's not too bad. We definitely need that. But we also need these blocks to be rearranged like so. Okie dokie, we have access to the other half. It only took me like 25 minutes. Jiminy Christmas, I only mistaked like five or six, seven things. It's fine. <laughs> oh, we're here now. And that bridges the gap back to the other side. This takes us up where we are greeted with... Well, these guys, again, let's all focus in our attacks on the blue dragon. Hopefully that'll defeat him in the first turn and therefore cut our damage receipt in half, which it does. We didn't even need all four of us, but this will work out by and large for the better. In fact, we take zero damage altogether. I love it when we take zero damage. In fact, I find it quite ideal. Uh, I don't find... An ideal when we're stuck. Okay, we're not stuck. It's a weird little array of blocks. Why are the blocks like this? Hmm. I'm gonna ignore them. Oh, we got caught by surprise? How are these guys surprising us? They're huge! They can't hide anywhere, and I bet you they stink like straight garbage. I mean, they're giant friggin' lizards, for God's sakes. You think they'll wear an axe body spray or any sort of deodorant? No! 
All right, they're wearing the blood of their friggin' meal all around their mouth and on their arms, too. Jiminy Christmas surprise my butt. These people aren't paying attention to anything, but hey, Felix levels up, so that's cool. I'll pay attention to that. And more cracked floors. Don't you just love it? Healing aura, please, and thank you. Uh, let's go right. It's against my better judgment. Oh, I might have known. Hmm. Well, so now we fall. Right here, I guess. Whatever. Great. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. At least we're on the second half of this. So, now I know. Again, left for LP. Why did I ever stop? Why did I stop? And now what? Ah, this is problematic, isn't it? Probably want to go this way. We don't want to walk in front of that face. It'll blow us across. This one will blow us, but that's... Looks like that's what we wanted. We wanted to be blown that time. Very rare occurrence. Going north does nothing at all. Going south brings us another ascent, as well as this corridor here. Which is nothing. Great. I just love the useless cardio. Don't you just love to see it? Jiminy Christmas walking along aimlessly inside of these friggin' corridors. Not like we have anything to do. Oh, important mission? By golly, we're just tourists. That, that, that kill everything we see. We're very violent tourists. We're Americans. All right. Get out of here, Wyvern. 959 experience points. It's nice that we're getting so much experience points from all these dudes. Whoa, God! Oh, man, I ain't seen this much purple since I went to a Minnesota Vikings game. Uh, let's hover and go to the left, I suppose. <laughs> uh, no, I should have waited. Oh, God dang it. It's fine. We're, we're here. That, I guess that's why there's the corridors, because those big faces can just blow you. Okay. Well, can I put myself down? After I hover? Right? Like, can I press a button? No? Can I touch this thing? Interesting. So I'm not meant to go that way, clearly. And the hover just lasts forever? Hmm. What? What if we... Do, what do we hover? Oh, I see. You stinker! Hmm. I'm not 100% certain what it is it wants from us here. But I am... Maybe 64% certain. We want to get all the way up here. But these things will blow. Go left. You know that mm, I was on the purple. I was on the purple and then Felix saw the crack and like dove over to it. Like, ah! I'm falling. No, you're not, you sick fool. We're gonna do this again in this order. It seems to be working. So, go left. There we go. Yeah. And what do we got up here, huh? Is that is that what we want to be? Is this? No, gosh, giblets. Don't cut in. Don't cut in. Oh, God, we did it. My God. <laughs> oh, what was on the left? I don't know. I didn't go over there. If it's chess, it's not real. I didn't see it. So we're just going to move ahead in the direction that allows us to progress, I think. Maybe this will just lead us to a chest with Jiminy freaking Christmas. That took a lot of attempts. <laughs> uh, thus far, I think the single most attempts uh, that I've had to, uh, to attempt you light in any one thing in this episode, or at least especially this episode, but I meant to say in the entirety of this Let's Play. My god, the Jupiter Tower, huh? And the Cyclone, the statues that blow. I say no, but this guy, he's gonna go. He's fueled with grape juice. He's letting loose. Spracking that lady right in the backside. And now that is... is lifted. Very nice. Okay, we, we got we got music. Music is good, I suppose. But we also have a Ginny here. <laughs> we, we didn't we didn't get access to the Ginny. I thought we were gonna drop down another piece of the thing to get to the Ginny. Apparently that's not the case. Uh, oops, I don't know if I wanted to fall there, but whatever. We'll fall, it's fine. Maybe I need to fall to the Ginny. Ew. I didn't think of that. It didn't also, I, I don't remember there being holes in every floor. Is it possible? I guess we'll see. I mean, we're going back to get that friggin' Jenny one thing or another. We'll make it a long episode, but it's fine. It's fine. I think we've effectively beaten the, the dungeon. I think we just need to go to where those two arrows pierce the backsides and lift it up that thing. I think we're good. I think. We fall here. Yeah, no, we're so high up above the Jenny. I don't think there was a fall point. There must be something that I'm missing. And this provides us access to it, right? Quicker? I think. 
just the beginning. Where are we? I'm lost. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're here. So the Jenny, how do we... How do we get the Jenny? Hmm. Wait a... M I wonder, I wonder. This... Maybe we only have to use the two that we do have. Right? Maybe we can move that 90 degree angle one and put it over. But won't that... Cut the circuit? Yeah. No, we got both. We have both. I see that straight piece will go right here where this 90 degree was. It'll carry the circuit over to this, where the 90 degree will allow us to hover over to the Jenny, who hopefully will want to come with us. I mean, it's a Jupiter Jenny hanging out in the Jupiter Lighthouse. This is probably friggin' home for them. So I'd have to I'd have to guess they'll be just ever so slightly pissed off that we're like trying to shovel them into our pockets, but hey. You know, these things gotta happen. All right, we're heroes, that's what we do. So let's investigate and we'll see what your name is. And then, 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 then Sheba, look at this, Sheba will also have six and she'll be able to give Pierce his six. We'll be even for the first friggin' time in God knows how long <laughs> since episode one. Hi buddy, yep, he's pissed. That's like I thought, that's fine. You're gonna, you're gonna be beaten into submission. We'll just do regular attacks. I can't imagine he's going to be too terribly tough. You know, he's a friggin' cute... Oh, God, I... Mm, maybe. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, that was a little bit something there, wasn't it? He did a lot of damage. What's the HP situation like? Frankly, I don't know that I want to mess with it too terribly much. Let's ought to see him. Let's healing aura ourselves. Let's just slap him with the sword and then diamond dust. We'll do all the strongest attacks we can. And hopefully that can, can get this dude taken care of right quickly. Because he did, he did a lot of damage. At this point, he's, uh, okay, we killed him. I say he's at risk of killing Sheba if we didn't heal. Very good. Coincidentally enough, that is the dude that she will be having in her party once more. Pe the, the, oh, I didn't read that name. I, I thought that was an E. <laughs> I was like, what kind of Jenny name is that? Whorl. Whorl. Whorl? Whorl or Whorl? I don't know, but Piers got a new synergy off of that, which is pretty friggin' sweet. Let's take a look at that, huh? What did he get? He got Diamond Berg. A single hit, 17. That's pretty friggin' solid. Did Sheba get anything new after that? I mean... No? Doesn't seem like it. She got a crap ton of synergy anyways. It's fine. But now, we can head on to the top of the tower and see what the heck's going on up there. Ah, uh, Mia, what? What's happening? We're... These are people from the last Golden Sun. What? No. No! Garrett, Mia! Is that... It's Isaac and the others. Isaac? Isn't he a friend of yours, Felix? I mean, yes, kinda. And they both come from Vale, and regardless of what Isaac believes, they must be allies now. But Isaac and the others came all this way just to try and stop us. But didn't you hear that? It sounded like a cry for help. What if they're in trouble? Uh, Felix begins sweating and runs ahead. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Garrett's about to fall. Hang on, Mia. Don't worry, Garrett. Everything will be fine. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. But Garrett, you know, he's dying. Garrett, you're only using one arm to hang on. Use two, you fool. I don't know. I think I hurt my arm when I fell. It's totally numb. I can't move it. Shouldn't have tried to save me when I fell into that hole. No, Mia. Don't blame yourself. I wasn't going to leave you down there. No! Oh, oh. Sweat, sweat, sweat! Everyone's pulsing and sweating. It's no use. I can't pull you up, Garrett. I'm not strong enough. Isaac, please, you've got to save Garrett. This doesn't look good. We have to save Garrett and fast. No, I'm afraid you won't be doing that. Who are you? Why, I'm Karst. <laughs> and I'm a Gaishio. If you're not here to help my friend, then get out of my way so I can do it myself. Your friends will have to take care of themselves. You have a little debt to repay. Debt? What are you even talking about? We've never seen you before. Regardless, you have done cost here a great wrong, and you're beginning to be a hindrance to us. Wait a minute. You two look familiar. Do, do you know Satoru and Minardi? So you're not such a fool after all, Isaac. You are right. We are of the same clan, the Fire Clan, from the frozen land of Brox far to the north. Brox? I've never heard of it. That doesn't surprise me. Our town hangs on the brink of extinction. And the seal placed on alchemy is responsible. What are you saying? That doesn't make any sense. It matters not, for soon Brox will recover its lost power. We shall bring Brox back from the edge, and then the people of Wayard will kneel before us. You think we'd let you after hearing that nonsense? 
See? You're a hindrance. And Felix was trying to help you? Actually, we don't know what Felix's objectives are. And we don't care as long as he lights the beacon. Haha! <laughs> then get out of our way. We're here to stop Felix. Move or we'll have to move you ourselves. Did you hear that, Karst? They actually want to fight. You mean to tell us that you would leave your friend hanging? <laughs> so this was all part of your plan? Mm. Coward, stop playing dirty and fight fair. You really are the brats who killed Satoros and Minari, then you've earned some new foes. But answer me this, would you still cry foul if you were fighting us four on two? That's why you were waiting up here? To set a trap and make me and Garrett fall? We didn't plan on snaring both of them, though. That was a pleasant surprise. So that's the deal, is that you came up here to fight us? Or did you figure that out all on your own? Impressive! I'm quite fond of intelligent boys. I hope you don't think we're afraid of a fair fight two on two. A fair fight? I'm sorry if I misled you, but we have a third. A water adept. Alex! A a a Alex? Where, where is Alex? What's wrong, Karst? It's Alex! He's gone! What? Alex? Did anyone see where he went? Forget about him. Honestly, I was planning to do the same to him that I'm about to do to them. Hmm. My only regret is that I won't be able to wipe that sneering smile off his face. Well, take out all of your aggressions on these brats. You'll feel better. Oh, man. And now, so that's what the fight looks like when we're not in the battle screen. Felix against you and Karst are attacking Isaac and the others. You think Isaac and Ivan can handle them without me and Garrett? I'm disgusted that Cost would set a trap for them. It's dishonorable. And what if Garrett loses his grip while they're still fighting? There's still time. We have to help Isaac. Well, I guess we're going to go up and fight next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. And with that said, I will see you then.